fundraisers, we are in the position of being problem solvers because one of the things we, we want to do is find resources for those, you know, in the case of a university, your deans and your faculty. So uh, I, I've seen the most successful development officers are the ones who can uh, adapt to a changing environment because, you know, even if you're in a smaller institution, you know, things change. If, you know, when I was at the Children's Museum, we, for example, we used to wait every year to see what the city budget would be like. And we'd have to, you know, adapt accordingly. You know, from year to year, the budget, which was about 50% of our total <coughs> institutional budget, could have, got, could have uh, gotten cut, it could, you know, be a little bit more one year. And the development office had to make up the difference. So again, being flexible and being adaptable to, you know, whether it's a political landscape or an institutional landscape, that's very important. Because every day, in my experience, every day has been different. You never have the same day exactly the same. Being able to listen, being able to write well is important in most jobs. Attention to detail can be sending thank you notes. <coughs> You know, quickly, but well done without typos, without, with the right name and title, you know, whether it's an email or a handwritten note, you know, uh, all of that communicating well, talking about why you're interested in a particular mission, that it isn't just a job you're seeking. And uh, something like campaign planning and management is something you, you see in a larger institution. Sometimes the titles are campaign manager, director of campaign operations. These are folks who make sure that campaign stays on track and are hitting your targets and really organizes things for your fundraisers. Uh, research and prospect management, I think every institution has some version of a research operation, whether it's if you're a one-person shop and you're doing research and fundraising and stewardship and all of that, or you're a large institution where you have a dedicated staff of a dozen people who are just doing research, uh, it's it's really essential to to fundraising. And if you're the kind of person who likes to you know get on the computer and Google and see where it goes and that kind of you know curiosity, that I think comes uh, into play nicely for researchers. And donor relations stewardship, uh, this is probably one of the most uh, important and sometimes overlooked functions. Uh, it's, uh, it's really about thanking our donors for what they've done for your institution. So everything from simple thank you notes to more elaborate stewardship reports. At Rutgers, we do annual stewardship reports for our donors, which means that we send them a, you know, it varies in length, something like a five-page report on how we use their money that year. And these are typically for endowed chairs or endowed scholarships. Uh, but, you know, even for a, a corporate foundation, they often ask that you send them a report. It's very important that you report back to them and say, hey, we, we made good use of your money. We didn't just, you know, go off and have a party with it. You know, it's, it's, it's something that they expect, and it, it, it's a really important function, and so that's a, that's a key function.